guys welcome back to the channel today I'm bringing you a unique off-road build so I've always wanted to do an off-road build and we so happen to have this 150 cc Chinese dune buggy these Chinese dune buggies can be reliable machines but they are mostly known for falling apart today I'm giving it a new motor if you would like to receive sneak peeks on projects like this be sure to follow me on Instagram at Vasily Builds. If you'd like to support these kinds of videos, consider checking out my Patreon. But anyways, guys, let's get to it. So we got the 670 right here, the 420, the 212, and the 79. And this will be my third engine. So guys, I've pretty much just woken up. We've driven an extra 40 minutes to the Harbor Freight in Dalton, Georgia, mainly because the sales taxes here are much lower and we can save like 20 bucks, so let's get it. Stay tuned, guys. Wow, this thing is huge. Big thanks to GoPowerSports.com for supporting this build. But let's get into tearing apart this dune buggy and swapping the motors. Chinese are very clever. Here it is. This thing isn't as heavy as it looks, but it's pretty heavy. So I'm very happy they didn't cheap out on this axle. This is a very thick one and a half inch axle. Since the sprocket hub is welded on, I'm going to go ahead and flip this axle around because the sprocket is on that side and we'll have to re-weld our caliper mount. But yeah, this should be very, very easy. So how do I take that sprocket out? This thing is, this thing don't go off. Hmm.
So we somehow got the engine to fit in there. As you can see, it is pretty big and it takes up the whole space about half an inch away from the shocks there. We'll have to cut up the exhaust and make just a straight pipe. And later down the line, we'll add some nice dual pipes. We'll also have to be space here for a torque converter. And I did take into account that we will be running a much bigger sprocket, so yeah. The engine is pretty high. I'm going to have to flip these mounts around and lower it and modify the engine plate, but uh, hopefully this thing clears. So we had to modify this Go Power Sports plate, make it lower. So we made this beautiful engine piece and this is going to go and that's just going to go like that. So the engine plate is tacked in. I'm still going to have to adjust it once I get the torque converter in or uh, whatever kind of drivetrain I'm going to go with. That is much better guys. The engine is sitting lower. We got no clearance right here so we'll have to scoot it all that way but yeah guys you get the point guys i can't wait to get this thing to rip we got to make a deal so if this video gets 3,000 likes or 100,000 views whichever comes first i will nitrous this thing and send it and uh we'll possibly add some dual carburetors some cams some other stuff so guys stay tuned for that but i'll have to see you in part two god bless Hello.